All right, listen, I know my computer, it's really loud, okay? I know. But I'm exporting the video right now and I don't really have a choice, so please forgive me. Hi everybody, it's me, Maddie, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi. So I usually do reading vlogs. I when I first started my YouTube channel, I mostly did reading vlogs because I would like vlog every book I read. Um, but in 2020, I kind of like I think I only did like one. The only one I know for sure I did was reading Illuminate for the first time. They got nine views. So, safe to say, I've learned my lesson. Um, but I wanted to try a different type of video. I want to put more effort into my videos because, you know, I've been doing this channel specifically for three years since 2017, or three years when I'm filming this. I don't know when it's going up. Probably not for a little bit. Um, so, I've improved editing a lot as well because I've had my editing software for like two years now so I've gotten the ins and outs of it and there's still stuff I'm learning and all that so yes but I do want to uh, do some more fun videos so that is what we're doing today. I put the viewfinder down so I don't look at it. So I um, there's this app okay this is not sponsored by this app but there is this app called um, likewise, okay, and if you have Instagram, you might have seen it around, but basically, you can go on there and you can ask for TV and movie, book, podcasts, uh, or restaurant recommendations, and so, I used this a few times, but I went over there earlier today and I asked for the best assassin books, because I am like in love with assassin books I just there's something about them right so I wanted to make sure I could get some really good assassin books so I went on there and I said best assassin books death gore murder murder murders morally great characters maybe romance but definitely murder please and thank you and so if I make sure because I think I've gotten a few more since I've loaded this up. So let me reset it. But I think I've gotten about 13, 14, 15. Let's see for sure. I've gotten 13 recommendations. So I'm going to go through. i got Goodreads pulled up over here. I'm going to go through. I'm going to read through all of these and read the descriptions and see which ones I'm going to read for this video. And if you like this video, then I could definitely do a part two. I could ask for other assassin books or, or like other genre, like, like superhero books or something like that or I could read some of the books on here that I didn't specifically like so uh, yeah let's get into this all right so real quickly I did originally plan on reading three books for this video but I loved the first one spoiler alert oopsies and the second book I ended up DNFing and my library is closed down because they're updating their so their software system whatever it's called so I can't actually get the third book so we're just gonna do the first book and if you like this then I will read like the third book that I wanted to read um, and I will either like pick some other books or something like that so just tell me if you guys want another one of these and if you liked it then I will do another one and I might have more than just one book next time who knows all right so one of these recommendations I did not know that this specific book was by Brent Weeks um, and the cover that it was recommended is the complete trilogy so it just has like the series title and like you know, not the first book cover. Um, and then I went to look it up on Goodreads and I saw the cover for the first book. And I already want to read the first book. So, perfect. And then I'm also going to add The uh, Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks or the first book in the Night Angel trilogy. I already wanted to read The Way of Shadows, so this is perfect. I am so excited to read these books books wish me luck guys i will pick back up as soon as i have the books or have one of the books i'm going to call my library and see if i can get them you know so as soon as one or two or all these books have arrived i will uh i'll see you guys again <laughs> all right 
So it is now the 18th of November and I just got in one of the books from my library. So I got The Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks. And um, as I think I said earlier in this video, that I actually already had this book on my TBR. It was the only book that I actually already had on my TBR. I think I have Assassin's Apprentice on there, but I do not want to read that right now. So yes, this is the one that we got in first. So this will be the one I'm reading first. And I don't know what this is about. So this says, for Duzo Blint, Durzo, Durzo Blint. Um, it's a fantasy book. They don't have normal names. Assassination, assassination is an art, and he is the city's most accomplished artist. For Azoth, survival is precarious, something you never take for granted. As a guild rat, he's grown up in the slums and learned to judge people quickly and to take risks. Risks like apprenticing himself up to Durzo Blint. But to be accepted... Azoth must turn his back on his old life and embrace a new identity and name. As Kyler Stern, he must learn to navigate the assassin's world of dangerous politics and strange magics and cultivate a flair for death. And then lovely little Tenny Brooks, New York Times uh, best-selling author, never heard of them. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Uh, I was memorized from the start to finish. Unforgettable characters, a plot that kept me guess guessing nonstop action, and the kind of in-depth storytelling that makes me admire writer's work. I'm very excited to start this as uh, Holly from Holly Hearts Books says this is an Orbit book, and Orbit books apparently never write bad books, so very, very excited to start this. So I'm going to actually start this uh, right now. So Let's go. Okay, so I'm not going to be updating every single day of reading this book because then I would have just way too much footage. But I'll update you like when something important happens, but I will not be doing spoilers, so so I'll let you guys know. But I've hit the 50 page mark of this, and I just kind of want to say like my opinions on this book so far. So 50 pages in, I do like Azo. Um he is the only character I really find myself enjoying reading from. Uh, like, the story has, like, point of views from other characters, like, uh, Solon Tufisen was chapter 7's point of view character, and I found myself very annoyed by him, so there's that, but I really do like Azo. He's 11, though. He's a lot younger, like, a lot younger than I thought he was gonna be, so he's an 11-year-old. Um, but I do like Azo and his relationships with Doll Girl. I don't know. I can't, I hope that that gets to continue through the book because I am really enjoying that. I don't know, though. Um, but yeah, a few pages in. Started off a little slow, but I am enjoying it more now. And I am excited to continue. So, I will hop back on when something exciting happens. Okay, so I just read chapter 12, page 90, 91. And, uh, we're getting, like, a tour, more or less, of, like, the training rooms and, like, the weapons and all of that. And, y'all, it's almost time to start killing! <laughs> Alright, so I am now on page 197, and it's about to be Kyler's first ever, or I guess it's his Technically, is the second, but it's Kyler's first ever murder, and I'm literally on the edge of my seat. I'm so nervous that he's about to, like, mess up and, like, fail this murder, and I'm just, I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm so scared for him. Like, I don't want something bad to happen, but I feel like something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> Hi, so I am now officially halfway through the first book for this video slash challenge or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm just, I'm in love with this book. I'm absolutely, like, I'm just enthralled in the story and I love reading this book. Like, I look forward to 7 o'clock at night when I get to finally pick up this book because I'm just enjoying it so, so much. I don't really like when we jump to somebody who we don't know's uh, point of view of a scene uh, where they're, like, we don't, we don't know them. I don't really like that. I prefer reading either in Blint's uh, point of view or in Azoth slash Kyler's point of view. It's so weird to call him Azoth because it sounds like I'm saying Azo, Azo, and I have a friend named Azo. Well, he's not named Azo, but that's like his YouTube name, so that's very weird for me, but I'm just, like, I'm loving Kyler's, like, reaction to when he murders people, 
And this is gonna sound weird, but for some reason, just like the way he inter like the way he interacts with the feeling of death and the way uh, he thinks about it and how he feels afterwards, just connects deeply with me. I don't know, like if, I don't think I'm explaining that well at all. But it just something like I just I love Kyler and I love the way he's like reacting to when he takes a life. I don't know. I'm just. I'm really, really enjoying this book, and I'm very, very glad to have started off with it because I am full-heartedly enjoying this book. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys. Guys. <laughs> Guys. Um, it's been a while. I'm on page 457. Um, it's been a while since my last update. Um, this is so good and instead of reading 50 pages a day I've been reading like a hundred to a hundred and fifty um this is so freaking good and it's all about to come crashing down I feel betrayed I feel betrayed Okay, I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Oh my gosh. It is Wednesday, November 25th. It is 9.57 p.m. And I, uh, I just finished The Way of Shadows by Brett Weeks. Oh my god. Oh my god, can we even go up from here? Like, is there, like, like, from where I'm standing, there's only downhill. I don't know. Like, is it going to plateau, or is it going to go downhill? Because I don't know. All I know is that this book was absolutely phenomenal, and I freaking loved it. Uh, like I said, I just finished this book, and I loved it. And I think I'm going to give it five stars. And for some reason, in 2020, because I am reading this in 2020, even though I know this video is not going to be going up in 2020, for some reason, I've been really harsh on my five stars like it takes a lot to get a five star out of me and even though I thought this ending was a little crazy a lot happened um I'm still going to give this book five out of five because I I adored it and I didn't like reading from Solon and you know the all these other people's point of views I really only enjoyed reading from either Durzo, is that his name? Durzo? God, that sounds weird to say out loud, but I really only enjoyed reading from Durzo or Kyler's point of view. I did really, really love this book, and it just deserves a 5 out of 5 star. I don't know when I'm going to be reading the sequel. Probably sometime in 2021, I will be finishing up the entire trilogy, but this book is definitely going to be one of my favorite books of 2020. It was just amazing, and it was great, and I really don't know how to explain it. Just every time I would finish up the day, I only had one thought, and that was, oh my goodness, I love this book. This is amazing. This is one of the best things I've ever read. And because I went to bed every single night with those opinions, and because I went to bed every single night wanting to read more, that is why I'm giving this a 5 out of 5 star. And... This was so, so, so good. So thank you to whoever recommended this to me because you were right. This is one of the best assassin books and I've no, I've not read many. The only, I guess, like assassin book I've read is Sarah J. Mass's Throne and Glass series. And I wouldn't know if I would say that's an assassin series. <laughs> um, so obviously this one is just, oh my god, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just so amazing and so good and oh my god it's gonna be one of my favorite books of 2020 <laughs> all right well that's that's the end of the video uh i know it's really abrupt and i don't have an outro clip and my hair looks so bad i'm not going to film an outro clip so i apologize you're just gonna get a replay of the footage i already used with the voiceover over i hope you're okay with that Anyway, we finished the book. It was amazing. I did really, really like it, but I did end up bumping my rating down to a 4.5, which was the only book I actually gave a half or a fourth or, like, I gave not a whole, like, 
four, three, five star rating to was this book last year because I just couldn't give it a full five, but I felt like it deserved more than a four, which is why it got a, it got a four point five. And I would have given it a whole five had I just enjoyed reading from those few other characters' point of views. Uh, but I love this book. It was so great. I cannot wait to read the sequel. I'm scared though because I heard that the sequel is not actually that good like Kyler starts like I don't know like behaving like a baby and I'm sorry but assassins aren't babies anyway we'll have to see my opinions on that subscribe because I will read those eventually hopefully sometime this year I don't really know that I don't have a copy of them so I guess we'll have to see anyway I love you all so much thank you so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did Sorry, I had to, like, swallow. I had so much spit sitting in my mouth. I'm so sorry. That was so gross. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'm going to give it a big, fat thumbs up. Tell me if you would like to see more uh, videos like this in the description box. I mean, the comment section. Oh, my God. My mind's all over the place. I've written a whole bunch of words today. I'm just going to go. I love you. Subscribe, like, comment, do all those fun things. And, hey, do not forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye, everyone.